My dog has fleas. My dog has fleas. I, I'm like, I can't sing it, but it's, it's how you're supposed to tune the ukulele, and it's one of the weirdest things that no one actually knows what it's about. I've been playing the ukulele for about a year. What got me interested in it was, um, I just, I really love the ukulele and how it sounded. So the ukulele was definitely, it, it goes through waves, like in the 20s it was good, and I believe in the 50s it kind of surged back, and now it's definitely surging back. The most influential people are really James Hill. I think the things he does with the ukulele is just amazing. And then add the drums. I'm James Hill and I've been playing the ukulele for about 20 odd years. I didn't get into the ukulele because it was popular, but it certainly has started becoming that way. It started, started becoming really popular. It's sort of a lightning rod for community too. And the, other, the other times that the ukulele has been really popular, you know, have also been times where we've had new opportunities to create community. Like when the radio first came out, for example. People gathered around the radio and they felt connected to a bigger picture. And then, more literally, the, you know, the TV comes out and then the ukulele, you know, Arthur Godfrey's got a big TV show where he's teaching ukulele and millions of people are watching it. People are connected to the bigger picture. And now, and now we've got the internet. People are, are, are largely, this thing has been fueled by the internet. So people connecting through this new medium. One of the biggest uh, websites is it's called Flea Market Music. I also use websites called Ukulele Underground and then also Ukulele Hunt because those are, those are some pretty knowledgeable people on there. Yeah, it, on the internet, people with ukulele are just really friendly. I don't know exactly why it's sort of the, the instrument of the times right now, which it seems to be. I don't, I don't know why. I think there's something about it that's um, refreshing. And we, got a, we, hear, we hear a lot of guitar, we hear a lot of um, <clears throat> things that we're used to hearing in, in pop music. And, and the ukulele comes along and it's got, this, it's got this different sound. It's got this sort of intimate sound. It's got this sort of friendly sound. It's got a simple sound. I think those are some things that we're kind of looking for right now. And so uh, maybe that explains a little bit of why it's sort of like the, the zeitgeist, you know, instrument. And there's, there's some really weird stuff bubbling up under the surface. Some people call this sort of the third wave of the ukulele's popularity. You've probably heard that. I'm sort of interested in how the third wave is going to be different from the first and second. You know, is it just going to be like a, a revival in the sense that we're just like uh, remembering the way it used to be? Or is it actually going to be something new? Is it going to be something different? I'll tell people that I play ukulele and they'll kind of laugh and chuckle and you know, I'll really... But the moment I can show them something from a great player or even some of the few things that I know myself, if I play those, they're shocked, can't believe it comes out of a ukulele. I remember going into a rehearsal one day, this is when I was doing a piece with dancers. One of the dancers walked into the room and saw me holding my ukulele and just started laughing uncontrollably. And I didn't know, I thought maybe, you know, was my, is my fly down, is my hair funny? Like, he was laughing because to him, it was just all wrong. I mean, it looked like either that's a tiny little guitar or that's a giant guy, you know, holding, he couldn't make sense of it. And to him, that was funny. You know? If you have a guitar and you play a guitar, so what, everyone else plays a guitar too. Um, if you have a ukulele though, it's, it's very interesting. It adds, it's not just like the basic. And it's also something you can bond with people about. I don't even own a guitar. There's, I don't even have a guitar in my house. Um, I didn't start on the guitar and then go to the ukulele. It wasn't that kind of a thing. They're not actually as similar as, as people think. It's, uh, 
it's a totally different animal. I mean, it's so much more practical, you know, it's so much more portable. You can just, you know, fly anywhere, drive anywhere, play anywhere. I play on the, on the planes, you know, in, in buses and, and all over the place. And, you know, it just wouldn't be as practical to do that with a guitar. And so anytime you can play more, you're going to be more connected to the instrument. So the ukulele just encourages you to play more, play all the time. Why not play right now? Let's play. In the dark, in the dark, in the dark.